Okay guys, it is time for a new update here on the Bitcoin price and I can already tell you, we talked about it in our last video, the bulls are using their chance. Actually, when we are looking on the smaller time frames, we can already see that on the four hourly time frame, Bitcoin is once again retesting our very important upward sloping resistance that was past support of our rising wedge. Ethereum also did exactly what we talked about in our last video, we saw a breakout out of our inverse head and shoulders pattern we reached the price target quite perfectly and since then ethereum is also pumping to the upside we need to keep a few things in mind right now i want to talk about the nineteen thousand dollar level a little bit more because as we see here the open position so the open interest is extremely high exactly around the nineteen thousand dollar level we have been talking about the eighteen thousand eight hundred to nineteen thousand dollar level as our most important support zone why is that because exactly above a huge amount of open interest so orders are in the market open positions are in the market and with an increase in leverage uh, in the general market for bitcoin we can expect that if that price level breaks to the upside uh, downside or if we break out of that zone to the upside that we will see a massive massive short or long squeeze so let's take a look at the charts let's find out in which direction it's more likely to go besides that we have two other on-chain datas that we will talk about in today's video so as always i would really appreciate it if you would smash up a like here on today's video don't forget to subscribe activate the bell next to the subscription button and for sure also leave a comment down below that supports me and just makes me happy so thank you very much for that but now let's not talk too much but let's just jump right into the charts so on the weekly time frame and we need to take a look at that real quick because yesterday as you guys know the weekly candle got closed we can already see that we are still remaining below our slightly upward sloping resistance here on the weekly time frame and our last weekly candle sadly closed as a bearish doji candle so nothing all too bullish here as well so if we really want to see a bullish price development for the next couple of weeks we need to first get above the $19,700 so with our weekly candle that we just started now we want to see an immediate price development above the $20,000 level as soon as possible but there's a few things standing in our way as I already said first step would definitely be to break here the approximately yeah $19,450 to $19,500 level that would be the first step this is the price level I'm keeping an eye on for the next 24 hours by the way, guys, I don't have any trades open right now. If I'm opening a new trade, I will let you know for sure within my next video, just because, as I told you, we expected the inverse head and shoulders pattern to potentially break to the upside. So it was very clear that my position would go into a deep minus. And that's why I showed you in yesterday's video and explained you. That's why I'm putting my stop loss in a profit already, because if we are not dumping immediately and this inverse head and shoulders pattern turns out to be successful, I don't want to be exposed to a short trade because now all these possibilities and as I said in my last video, the first chance for the bulls is actually coming in to retest here our upward sloping resistance and for potentially breaking it to the upside. So first of all, for the next 24 hours, I'm keeping an eye on the $19,450 to $19,500 level till the end of the week we definitely want to climb above that level for sure um, even a little bit higher we want to climb uh, above the 19,700 in the best case above the $20,000 level and if this is the case we can expect Bitcoin to, to perform quite well within the next couple of weeks going into the mid-range of the uh, $20,000 as you know on the weekly time frame our 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level as well as our long-term monthly support curve is at the $27,000 uh, uh, right now. We also have here on the weekly uh, candle this downward sloping resistance exactly at the $27,000. So this will definitely, or we are far away from really deciding that we are back into a bullish market phase again. And it's very possible that for the next six months, we might, even if we see a bullish break now to the upside, just get rejected at the $27,000 level again bounce at the 19,000, get rejected. So really see some sideways movement for quite some time. It's not unlikely, but we can use this sideways movement to accumulate more and more crypto with trades or with just market buying for sure with money that we are earning to accumulate as much as possible before the next bull run then eventually will start. So that's why guys, I have to say, I'm not keeping an eye on all too much. For me, most relevant right now is Bitcoin able to break back inside of our 
um, rising wedge and can we keep these price gains till the end of the week so that we are getting above the weekly upward sloping resistance and support and if we are getting rejected here now we will see it within the ne next 24 hours approximately and especially if we are falling below the $19,000 and we are really staying below the $19,000 it will get very very ugly as I already showed you leverage is increasing so when we are going to choose a direction there will definitely be big amounts of short liquidations uh, or if we go to the downside long liquidations right depending on which direction the price chooses and especially with all the open interest that we can see here it's very clear that everyone is really fighting exactly around the $19,000 level uh, with longs and also short positions so the $19,000 level seems to be somewhat of a psychological support and resistance now already after we have been trading around that range and so many positions got opened around that range, uh, range over the last couple of weeks. So guys keep an eye on the charts keep these price levels uh, in mind for Bitcoin because they will become very very relevant for Ethereum as we know Ethereum has been outperforming Bitcoin a lot before the merge a lot of shark and whale addresses were buying Ethereum that completely changed for the past five weeks right so for the past five weeks after the merge or exactly right before the merge we uh, we start we saw that um, whales and the sharks pretty much started to sell off their Ethereum and this is still going on and that's why also Ethereum uh, is, uh, is not performing as well as Bitcoin right now although both assets are more or less just going sideways but with the next big move this um, this whole thing right the, the accumulation of whale and sharks will really show an effect and we might see Ethereum um, within the next couple of weeks actually not being a leading indicator for Bitcoin anymore like it was before but for now guys we know the exact price levels we need to keep an eye on we know the 19,000 to $18,800 is still the absolute most important support that we are not allowed to break with a weekly candle to the downside because otherwise it will get ugly with the constantly rising leverage used in the market and also all these open positions then open right above the $19,000 level. I mean it is longs and it is shorts it's both but we need to keep in mind that if we see the drop I mean there will be a big big uh, long squeeze coming that's for sure so um, let's be prepared and let's keep an eye on the chart so we don't miss out on that volatile move that we already know is going to come sooner or later but now guys i hope you enjoyed the video i wanted to keep it as short as possible with a lot of information in it so if you enjoyed smash up a like don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell leave a comment down below that supports me a lot and we are going to see us in the next video which is going to be tomorrow hopefully if there's uh, if anything happens in the charts if nothing changes maybe i won't upload but most likely i will also upload a video for you guys tomorrow so see you then bye